$82 billion, more than $77 million, $100 million. I want you to know that we'll be there to help you. The announcement started in March, millions and billions of dollars at a time. Money first to help workers suddenly out of a job and businesses not allowed to open. The Canada Emergency Response Benefit will provide $2,000 a month. We're facilitating a wage subsidy up to 75%. Then came $9 billion to help post-secondary students, $2.5 billion for seniors and money for farmers. $125 million National Agri-Recovery Initiative. All of it adding up to a staggering total, more than $150 billion and counting. So the question, of course, are these measures helping Canadians? Is this enough? Nim Calvez was laid off from her job as a hotel attendant, and she joins me now from Surrey, British Columbia. Good to see you, Nim. Hi, Rosemary. Thanks for having me. So you were laid off, not surprisingly, as hotels and the tourism sector closed down. What have you, uh, what have you done to help yourself, and how has the government helped you? Um, the government... Um help us with the CERB, the $2,000 um, benefit that they're giving us. But aside from that, there's not much available for for the workers. And it's pretty disappointing, but we're hoping in the long run or long term, the government will figure out something for the workers, especially in my industry, we are the most hardly hit because we 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 rely on tourism for for our business and for our our work and seeing how things right now it's going to be a while before people want to travel or stay in hotels well, and I think your issue is more complicated because the $2000 is not just helping you it's also helping your daughter who is in the Philippines is that right? Yes, so aside from myself I'm helping a family in Philippines and I'm sending them money mostly every month. And the living expenses in Vancouver alone is very expensive. From $2,000, my rent is almost $1,500, $500 what's left for food and, and um, groceries. And that's, that's nothing. And I am using other resources like credit card to stay afloat. And, and how long do you think you can go on like that, Nim? Um, it's not long. Like after a couple of months, and I'm not just speaking for myself, I'm speaking for, for my coworkers, the hotel industry, and I'm sure a lot of us, not just hospitality industry, is hit hard with this. The majority of, of, of workers are, are struggling, and it's very devastating for for everyone to navigate in this um, hard times. Sure. Um, I'm going to talk to the finance minister in a moment. If you had anything that you wanted to ask him, what, what would you say to him? Um, I'd like the government to think of, of helping workers in the long term, because right now it's, it's fine. But after maybe a month or two, even right now, we're not okay. It's uh, where we lose half of our, our our wages, and that's very hard. But we can manage for short term. Long term, we need the government to think about how how are we gonna survive as as an mm -hmm. industry. As I've said, like we rely on tourism, and it's gonna be sure. a while before it's gonna come back. Who knows if we're gonna come back this year? We're thinking more likely it's gonna take us 18 to 24 months to recover, and yeah losing our job it's we or we also lose our health benefits uh and our our right to return to work is 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 on jeopardy as well so we're not just looking at financially but mm -hmm. we are looking with a big picture and our future it. and it's very sad because a lot of us we have put 20 30 40 years of our lives doing this job and and it's it's so devastating that we don't know what the future holds and no one can answer it for that right now we're just waiting for 
for what's available to us and um, the two thousand dollars i'm not speaking just for myself i'm sure I'll, it's not it's not enough okay nim calvez thank you so much i'll put some of that to the finance minister uh, i wish you good health and uh, and good luck there thanks for speaking with us very thank much thank you very much for having me